So in my last video, I talked about why you should move to Louisville and make your base there, but I never did say specifically where you should move into the city. I mentioned that you should stay away from the northern shopping area and make your base somewhere in the outskirts of the city, but where in those outskirts should you live? Well today we're going to talk about that, but first if you want to help support my channel and enjoy my videos, think about going down and hitting that like and subscribe button, it's really the best way you can help support the channel, and comment down below where you think the best place to make your base in Louisville is. Alright, now let's get into it. So I've been looking at the Zomboid map for a while, and I think I've found some good places where you can make your base. So I'm going to start off with the places that are farther away from the city, and then work my way in. So starting off, if you look at Louisville on the map, and then go down to the bottom right corner, you'll see a group of houses next to a field. At the top there's a larger house of a shed in the garage, and I feel like this could make for a perfect base if you want to be close to Louisville but not really inside the city. It's close enough to be only a 2 minute drive from the inner city, but it's still isolated enough to where there won't be nearly as many zombies. Next if we go across the field to the left, we'll find a pretty much identical house with a garage and shed. The only difference is that this one has a little barn, chicken coop, and a nice fenced in plot of land for farming. The chicken coop and barn aren't very useful right now, but soon the developers will be adding livestock to the game, so when that happens this place will be a much more appealing option. It is a tiny bit closer to the suburbs, but it is still relatively isolated, so zombies shouldn't be too much of an issue here. So on to the last place on the outside of the city, we have these two little houses on the far left side of Louisville right by the river. Honestly, there isn't really anything too unique about these houses, other than they're right by the hospital so finding medical supplies won't be an issue, and it's right by the river so you get an unlimited amount of water and an option for fishing. But really that's all there is to say about these houses besides this one has a watershed and this one has a land shed, so you can pick which you like better. But yeah, they're pretty close to the city but still semi-isolated, so like the other two locations, zombies won't be too much of an issue. But now moving on to the places that are more inside the city, we're going to start off with this line of houses just a little north of the two houses we were just looking at. So first off, these houses are extremely rich looking, and most of them have either a tall gate or fence surrounding them, which gives you that little extra bit of security. Really all you need to do is block off the little ends of the fences near the river, and the entrances, and then the houses will be completely walled off. And like the houses we looked at earlier, these are also right by the river, so free water and fishing are always nice. And these houses are right on the edge of the city, so there will be a larger amount of zombies, but the walls surrounding all the houses counteract that. So there is a greater risk living here, but the protection the houses provide is much greater. So moving on to the next one on the opposite side of the city, a little bit above the first house we looked at, we have these three houses that are completely surrounded by tall fences. Now out of all the options, I think this one might be my favorite, because all you need to do is kill the zombies in and around the three houses, and block off this one small entry point, and then this entire area is yours. Not only are all these houses well protected, but the one at the bottom has an essential resource that will be invaluable to you. Water. Yep, look at that, you even get your own private pond. Like, come on, this place just seems perfect. It is in the suburbs, so the surrounding area will have a good amount of zombies, but if you do get that one entry point blocked off, then they won't be really much of an issue. Alright, so now we have our last location, and I'm going to admit this one may be a bit ambitious. I would say this is a better place to attempt to make your base if you are with a group of people, but if you are a confident solo player, then go right ahead. But this location is further up north than the gated houses, and is more like a neighborhood than a singular house. So now you may understand why I said it might be a little ambitious to move here. But let's say you're able to clear out all these houses from zombies. Well then all you would have to do is block off this one entrance and then this entire area is yours. And this would definitely take a lot of work and resources, but imagine if you could barricade every single door and window in each of these houses. For a zombie to get in, he would have to break through a barricade here, go through the house to break through another barricade to get out, then break the fence, and then break through more barricades just to get into these houses. So theoretically this place could be one of the most protected places on the map. But this area is deep into the city, so the amount of zombies will be much higher than any of the other locations, so like I said earlier, doing this as a solo player will be extremely difficult, but I do think a group of experienced survivors could get this done. So those are the places in and around Louisville that I think would make for a great base. There are definitely more areas that I missed out on that can make for great bases, so let me know in the comments of any that you know about. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one.